Hey, what's up guys, Poncho Kings here. Lately, I've been getting a lot of questions on how I do my story games, how I make airplane, how you make a game like camping. So, I decided I want to make a tutorial about this. In a series of different videos, I will show you how I do it from beginning to end. In this first part of the tutorial, we won't get involved with Roblox just yet. First, I want to show you how I do it, how I plan it, because planning is a really important part of making games. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and let's get to it! Welcome to chapter 1 of making your first story game. Did you know that not having a plan is one of the main reasons that makes people not actually finish their game? So I like to separate it in these four easy points that will help you have a more organized plan. Point number one, where will everything happen? In this part, I want you to add as much ideas as you can think of. We don't have to choose any just yet. Great, we have six ideas. Remember that your ideas don't have to be the same as mine. Now, we're going to start crossing the ideas we like the less. We got a winner! Make sure it's something you really like, that will help you actually finish your game. Now, we can go to point number two. That's right guys, it's time to think of a story. This is where all the magic happens. Try to think what you want your story to be about, and then make a small summary about it. Great! Now we know what the story will be about and where it will take place. Now we can go ahead and continue to point number 3. In story games we have three main characters. The players, the guide and the monster. In this part I will explain the guide and the monster. The guide is the NPC that will tell the players what to do. He will lead the way. My story takes place in the school, so I decide that the guide will be a teacher. Now it's time to choose a monster. Like I did in Airplane 1, I want my monster to be scary. So I want it to be a black creature with red eyes. Perfect, we got our main character set up. Remember, you can add as much characters as you want, but for now, we will keep it with just the guide and the monster. And finally, we reach point number 4. Keep in mind this is a very important point. This point will decide how long you want your game to be. One way I like to do this is by deciding how many challenges my game will include. What are challenges? Challenges are when something happens, like for example in my game Airplane where, when you have to find your seat, or when you have to find a luggage to save someone, when you have to do something to survive. I believe 10 challenges is a pretty decent number. This will give you a game of about 25 to 30 minutes. After you reach this point, you can start planning your challenges. Like for example in my game school, um, I would like the players to find a book before the time runs out, or maybe survive the monster in the classroom, or anything you can think of. Sometimes I get more ideas when I start building, so don't worry if you don't have your 10 challenges just yet. Also, it will also help if you have the ending of your game as the last challenge, that will give you a very solid idea of your game. And that's it guys, congratulations, you concluded the first part, planning. Now we can start working around that. Thank you so much for watching guys, this was a really quick tutorial on how to turn your idea into something real. In the next videos we will actually start building, we will start programming, so don't forget to like and subscribe so you know when this happens. Peace out!